Hi, I'm Trish from Speedwell. In this clip, we'll see how to set a pass mark using borderline regression method. When marking, the examiner will mark each objective task using yes, no, as that's how this station has been set up. For the overall performance, the overall grade or subjective mark, we have pass borderline fail. This student receives a borderline and the examiner can add any comments in the optional box below. Switching to the eSystem Borderline Regression Report, we can see that this station does not have a calculated or user-defined pass mark. Below we see the subjective overall grade scale set for this station, Pass Borderline Fail, and the corresponding scores. We can also see the mean score for students achieving each grade, and how many students received each grade on the right. In the graph below, we see the objective score plotted on the y-axis. Against the overall grade scores, fail 0, borderline 1 and pass 2, plotted on the x-axis. The regression line is plotted here. And each plot shows the number of students. Here we have two students who passed, receiving an objective score of 15. Back at the exam, I want to set my standards. From the drop down, I have a choice of setting a custom pass mark, and as well as borderline regression, I also have options for using Angoff method or borderline group method. When I choose borderline regression, I get an extra option on the right for a minimum number of stations to pass. And as we're setting the exam pass mark, this shows in red. The station details are listed below, and for each station I can see the lowest, the highest, the mean average, the standard deviation, and the R squared. I could manually set my grade for each station and the score would show next to it. I could manually just enter a score or a pass mark in here. I could lock my settings. I could set a must pass for a station and there's an option to withdraw a station if I need to. When I click Calculate, we can see the exam pass mark is calculated above. The eSystem has automatically selected the borderline from the overall grade, along with the corresponding score, which is 1, and it's used that linear regression from the graph to calculate the pass mark and to show how many students have passed with a borderline for each of the stations. I could manually adjust the pass mark for each of the stations like this. And we can see how that affects the pass rate and the exam pass mark up here. I might need to switch on a must pass or an essential pass station like this. And I could choose to override any exam pass mark I've set as well using the option in this box. Once I've set all my options on the borderline regression standard settings screen, I save the exam settings. Back in the borderline regression report, we can see the calculated pass mark now and our user-defined adjustment, based on our use of borderline for the overall grade. So our selection of borderline, or 1 on the x-axis, shows here on the graph. And where that line intersects with a regression line, our pass mark is calculated. We rounded that to 12, and that user-defined pass mark shows as well. And there's one borderline regression chart for every station in our exam, clearly showing how we set our standards for each station. In our candidate performance report, we can see the mean, the standard deviation, the number of candidates, and the pass mark we set, along with any candidate details we're displaying. We see the score and whether or not they received a fail or pass grade.
The candidate who received 27 and failed, failed to pass a must-pass station. For more information about standard setting or to book a free demonstration, please contact us at speedwellsoftware.com.